Dwellings, number one, from Canadian cartoonist and writer Jay Stevens, is a 72-page bi-monthly prestige format series from Oni Press that combines the cartoony format of the Harvey comics from uh, the 1960s with a really well-written horror story. The story takes place in Elwich, Ontario, a fictional town and it focuses on several different characters. And the characters, even though they're adults, they, because of the cartoony style, they look more childlike, and that even adds more to the horror. The first subject we meet is this kid who's uh, in this witness protection program, and he gets recognized, and he ends up committing murder. Uh, and what happens is the crows witness the murder, and crows, since they have this, this, this fantastic memory, they never forget, and they often follow predators. So they ended up following this guy, and he ends up committing more murders. Uh, so there's also a police officer, a detective, who just come back from suspension, and she was involved in a shooting. And even though this officer seems like a really great detective, there, there appears to be some kind of a dark side to her. There's this psych student who's in a kind of a codependent relationship with her, her ex-professor. And she's come to Elwich to investigate uh, the circumstances around this, this, this guy who had a head injury and started speaking in accents. And he, she thinks that there's something that she can do for this kid or uh, she wants to find out what exactly is going on. And the more the student finds out, the more she is convinced that this is a case of some sort of demonic possession. However, her professor just thinks that uh, she's being paranoid and, and possibly is relapsing uh, to, to have one of her episodes that she's had in the past. So she's having none of it. The first issue is broken down into two, almost two and a half stories that flow together seamlessly. Such care and attention to detail is taken in producing this book. Even the ads from that era have been reproduced with Stevens' own twist added to them. Stevens' body of work is impressive. Uh, in addition to doing work for people like DC, he's also done a book called uh, The Land of Nod and True Patriots was also one of his, his titles. Given the look of his, uh, his previous work, um, the art in this book is, is right in his wheelhouse. Uh, it, it works, his, his art works seamlessly with the Harvey style. Now, I believe he was a, a fan of this style when he was younger. To say that I like this book would be an understatement. I really think I kind of love it. It's, it's kind of a masterpiece. Uh, it sets out, it, it does what it sets out to do. And it's very smart. And it mixes this style of this very innocent Harvey school of art along with a, a super well-written horror story that just flows so well together in all three parts. And I believe this is going to be a three-issue anthology series uh, at nine, uh, $9.99 or $10 per issue. It's, man, I would rather buy this than any one of these overpriced Marvel books that they all of a sudden throw a $10 price tag on for no apparent reason. This is good stuff here. This this is something uh, that I think uh, a lot of people will enjoy. It's, it's over the top with the violence, uh, but it's cartoony violence, which fits with the style of the book. And it, it's, it's very kind of a, a tongue-in-cheek kind of a feel to the thing and if you're, if you're in on the joke you're really going to enjoy this book i really i really really got a, a kick out of this book and man i i can't wait to see the the next one uh, so um and jay stevens uh thank you for making this excellent book and that's going to do it for this indie comics review uh, thanks for stopping by be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button and be sure to turn on notifications so you know when i'm making my next video so until next time see you guys in the funny papers hey don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up